Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit the notification bell, get all the updates. What's up for today's video? This beer sounds crazy. Uh, it's courtesy of Hot Butch for the World. Thanks, thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate it. So, um, Wurlitzer, I think is how you pronounce it. Great can art, as per usual. Uh, we got a Hefeweizen. Never had a Hefeweizen from Hot Butcher. But and it's high percent ABV. But being hot butcher, it can't just be. It's about two months old at time of review. Actually, it's exactly to the day two months old at time of review. Um, but hot butcher being hot butcher, they're going to mess around. Sabro in a half of Eisen beer. Uh, Hallertar, Hallertar, Hallerta, Sabro and Hallerta, Middlefru hopped half of Eisen. I'm confident I, uh, I correctly pronounced about half of those words. Um, so I'm thinking that the thought was Hefeweizen can kick out really nice banana notes and Sabro can kick out coconut notes and banana and coconut are delicious uh, together. So that's my theory. But let's find out. A Hefeweizen. I'm really excited because uh, a Hefeweizen from them, a Saison. Uh, I have had some Pilsners, but a Pilsner will be coming up too. So yeah, I'm really excited. So it's a hazy, you know, uh, orange yellow color, not super hazy, um, but for me, actually, it's it's not like turbid, but it's definitely hazy. The head is like a bone white with a little bit more gray mixed in, small bubbles, some medium sized bubbles. Definitely a beautiful, definitely a beautiful looking beer. Yeah, get the uh, proper glassware in frame. It's Christmas time, so I'm using the Christmas color glass from them. It's gonna see aroma. Okay, so you, okay, I love Hefeweizens. Um, it was one of the first styles I ever got really into before I liked stouts and IPAs, which I know is kind of funny if you're watching this channel for a while, a while, because I mostly drink, you know, stouts and uh, IPAs, barley wines, things like that. But um, I used to mess around way more with like old school traditional uh, styles for a long time. And Hefeweizens, early on, favorite of mine. And the initial aroma, I get what I want a half of Eisen to smell like. So that's like really high praise for me. Then you keep smelling. So you get like that banana, a little bit of clove that I like in the style. But then you keep smelling. Then you get that coconut. Back to the banana. And the coconut's nice because it's not like um, suntan lotion coconut. Like it, it, it's subtle coming from the hop, but it's there. So it is adding like this little bit extra of a tropical note. But for me, it's not losing the essence of Hefeweizen in the aroma. Man, I actually really like the level of banana you guys got out of this. Wow. Okay. Let's see about the taste. Cheers. Thanks again, Hot Butcher for the World. So, similar experience to the aroma. I initially get hit with a Hefeweizen the way I want it the banana, a little bit of clove, um, and then, I don't know, three quarters-ish through the sip. Then I get hit with some of that Sabro um, tropical into the uh, coconut as well. But it's not so intense that it takes me out of the experience. It does kind of add a, a tropical note to the banana. Because, like, I don't, I've never had a half of eyes in, I don't think, and thought to myself, like, this seems like, this screams tropical. Even though you get that banana thing. Um, it can be relatively, they can be relatively dry. Um, this one finishes relatively dry. That clove makes me think more like fall and winter baking spices. So I go more like, like warm banana bread kind of, you know, food and and other drink thoughts. But banana is obviously such a tropical fruit that it kind of the sabro thing kind of you know makes sense in my brain. It's not like I'm drinking this beer like huh kind of a thing, right? Um, and for me, it's really, I also cannot overemphasize, it's really important to me that they nail the style because it is so near and dear to my heart. I really like the sip. Because you have some of that sweetness. Little crisp. And then, yeah, it, it, not over, it's not like bone dry, but like it gets a little drier than you might think based on the rest of the sip. Little orange zest as well. Uh, 
almost like a um, very light sulfur note. Um, the um, addition of the orange, again, talk about tropical fruits, but this is still not coming across. Like, don't get me wrong, especially at 5%, this, like, it's, I, I think right now it's like 18 degrees outside. Um, I Like, this would be an awesome warm weather beer to me. But again, it's more like it, it tastes good. It's got some sweetness, got that crispness, got some cool flavors. It's at the 5% ABV. But it's still, even though it has all these tropical elements, doesn't make me go to tropical beer. It's such an interesting experience. I'll tell you what, the Sabra worked. I, 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 I was very excited to try this, and it wasn't just for the uh, uh, hopeful deliciousness of it. It was also like me just wondering, what the heck is Sabra going to taste like in a Hefeweizen? Okay, okay. Hot Butcher, living up to the name, doing things up. I love it. Uh, have you guys had this beer before? How about this? Besides Hot Butcher, have you ever had a Sabro Hopped Hefeweizen? <laughs> Anything, everything, comment section below. Let's get a conversation going. Once you're done doing that, make sure you check me out on Instagram and Untapped. It's No Hype Beer Reviews at both those places. So always please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.